Hi everybody, welcome back to the Robot Vlogs YouTube channel. Today is going to be a completely different type of video. It's not going to be about beauty or skincare. It's all going to be about fashion and how I shop at Zara. Just because I've been getting a lot of questions about how I get my outfits, how I put them together. A lot of people email me saying that they can't shop online because they can't relate to the models or they, when they go to the store, they just don't find anything. So I'm going to do a complete video on how I put my looks together from Zara. You know, it's my absolute, absolute favorite store. I buy almost all my stuff from there and I find such amazing things. I'm going to do um, me shopping at the store, which I rarely do, but I'm going to do it for you guys. Um, and then I'm going to show you how... And then I'm going to show you how I shop online and how I put my looks together when I'm not sure if everything goes together. A little secret tip that I love to do. So yeah, I've just been getting um, all these questions of how I shop there because people are having a hard time. But that's okay because I'm going to show you how I do it and hopefully that helps you guys put your looks together. Um, yeah, and if you want to see how I shop at Zara, one of my favorite stores, just keep on watching. So I am back home from Zara. It was, there's my robe, robe life. Right on guys. Um, it was kind of crazy. This is, the line was pretty ridiculous. They only had like two people um, charging, um, doing all the charges, whatever. At the cash register, that's what I meant. And um, it was annoying, but that's why I love shopping online. There's all my goodies. I'm going to put one of the outfits together and I'm gonna show you how I got one of the outfits that I put together online and you will just see that whole process and how I style it but yeah touch base mind my messy bed but this is the outfit that I got today from Zara at the store when I immediately saw the skirt I was like I need to put this skirt with a white top and um, boots and when I mean boots I don't mean flat boots I need high heel boots I think it'll be so pretty and I immediately thought of my babble bart earrings and this gorgeous purse from Aiden Co wrinkle yeah um it's a Colombian brand and I was like this is gonna be such a cute outfit especially to shoot with so this is the one I got from the store and now this is the one that I got online if you could look down here these are the boots that I got from Zara online. If there's one more recommendation that I have is to shop online, especially shoes. The shoes at the store are just a disaster. Everybody grabs them, touches them, just not a fan. And purses too. I got that purse online. The earrings. For this, I'm going to show you how I shop for this online. I was um, inspired by the top. Once I saw the top, I put everything else together. That's a midi skirt, the boots, the purse, and the earrings. So I'm going to show you how I did that. You how I picked um, my outfit off of the Zara website, which is what I do most of the time. It's always on my phone, but I'm showing it to you on a desktop. You can see the desktop. Okay. So actually today I bought this top at the store. How cute is this? 50 bucks. It's so pretty. It is sheer, so you sh I would recommend a bandeau underneath, but yeah. So when I was looking for my inspiration, I spotted this top right here. And I know on my camera, it looks really, really green, but it's more of a bluish green type of color and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, the sleeves are 
gorgeous you see and i just thought of movement when i saw this so i was like i need to pair it with a flowy skirt so let me show you what i did i went over here where is skirts right here so i'm scrolling down through skirts and i'm looking for a midi skirt so maybe that might be a good let's say yeah midi i clicked it off on the side um okay so i finally found it it's the geometric print skirt this is the one i picked it online it looks blue but it's the color it really is black um but it's not a dark black it's like a faded black which is really pretty so i was thinking this piece how gorgeous is this with that bluish green top and i wanted to pair it with boots which i went over here let's see shoes um now i go to my search button and i put boots let's see what they have sorry for that noise that is the garage of my house Boots, boots, are you boots? Boots. I like to say boots, but um, pronounce it as a little boots like that. Like boots and boots. Where are the world are the boots that I bought? Eureka! Here they are. Now the these boots, I have to think about it because they are 150 bucks. I was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But there's it just, oh my god, it was so gorgeous. So I did purchase these to go with the outfit. Um, and I'm gonna wear them again because I'm leaving to um I'm leaving town soon. It's gonna be chilly where I'm going. So I'm gonna take these boots with me. And then I also picked a purse and earrings. From here, I went over to accessories and then I jumped down to jewelry. Their jewelry is awesome because it's like 20 bucks, $20 earrings, like super, super affordable. Where are those earrings? Here they are. Oh, my stupid mouse. So I chose these earrings and honestly, in person, they are so stunning. It goes so well with the top. Um, and they sparkle when the sun hits it. These, look, let me get you closer right here. It just sparkles. It is so, so pretty. I was obsessed. And then for the bag, I went to bags. And I was looking for a neutral tone pink. Let me put pink bags. See here. Pink bag. I was looking for like a, I wonder if it's under pink. Here it is, yes. I wanted like fluffy to match the flow of the top i wanted a bag just like that how cute is this purse it is so adorable and the strap you can make it a side bag you can just hold it from the, the middle of the strap and just like swing it around i loved it so that was my whole outfit so i wanted to see how the outfit would look all together since i was shopping online i wasn't sure um how it would look so i went on polyvore right here it's right up here polyvore.com so I go on Polyvore and actually go on their app and you go to this part right here that says create and you could put like pictures from like snapshots from your phone or you could search for things on the web to create an outfit. Like for example, I'm going to do, let's just say, I don't know, this dress. Oh goodness, so let's just grab this dress, put it here. Um, put it, I don't know, jewelry. And I'm going to put... Let's just say these earrings, whatever. These earrings, and then I'm gonna, uh, let's see, shoes. And I'm just gonna put um, these black shoes. You know, you start putting your outfit together and you can see whether it looks good or not. Um, let's go for the back. Where is it? Back. Okay. Ooh, look at this Gucci bag right here. Um, maybe black let's just go for this bag right here <clears throat> so you'll have this whole outfit you'll be like okay i like the way it looks it looks good so that's what i did on my app 
So now I'm gonna show you the one that I created, which is right here. This is my polyboard setup of the whole outfit. Now you need to know that, I don't know if you're seeing it really green, but that's not actually that green. It's more of a blue green. When I get my pictures taken with this whole outfit, you'll probably just be like, oh, she was right. So I put it together and I was absolutely in love with it. I was like, okay, the, where's my mouse? Okay. I was like, this is going perfectly with this top, the earrings, the shapes kind of matching the shapes on the skirt. Um, and the earrings are gorgeous, like paired with the shoes. So I was like, this is perfect. So when I'm not sure, sometimes I'm not sure. So I just create a polyboard board and I put the whole outfit together and I'm like, okay, this is going to photograph beautifully, or this is going to look great for this event. And that's how I create my outfits. And that's how I did it with Zara. Um, when I shop online, but I oh, don't always do this. I don't think this is like a process you always have to do. It's just when you're not sure if everything just goes well together. So that's how I did it. At the Zara that just opened in Berkeley City Center. It is so beautiful. It is so just calm and organized. But... So I found this like slip and then this cover that goes. It doesn't really, it's not a match, I just put it together. It's pretty, pretty cool. Something different, right? The number one so, am I the only one that still, week, like, I listen to 70s music? I love it. I also love 80s driving. Let's see what's... Oh, I... I love 80s music. Ario Speedwagon. Ready? I can't fight this feeling any longer. And yet I'm still afraid to let it show. What started out as friendship was grown stronger. So you saw my whole shopping experience saw also how I put together an outfit online. Now, the two outfits that you saw earlier are the ones that I'm going to be photographed in and put on the box so you can see what they look like on me and those will be in future posts really soon. Um, for sure, yeah, very, very soon. So then you can just watch this video, see the blog post, and just see how I style myself. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned how to shop at Zara if you've been having a hard time. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me at The Rogue Life Blog on Instagram and my blog at www.therobelifeblog.com. I will see you next week. Bye! Cause I can't fight this feeling anymore I've forgotten what I started fighting for